Hello everybody. Today I'd like to pose a profound question that I came up with the other day. And that is, would you rather pay taxes today while you work and have an income versus, say, 20, 30 years down the road when you're no longer working? Well, I'd like to cover, in my view, in my opinion, uh, the more beneficial Roth uh, at retirement accounts versus the traditional accounts. Um, today, I'm going to cover a range of things from the contribution limits, uh, the benefits, tax benefits, withdrawal benefits, and restrictions of the accounts, and put them together, put them against each other to kind of demonstrate how the Roth, in my opinion, is a better investment for your retirement versus the traditional account. Without further ado, I'd like to jump into contribution limits. Start out there. For your IRA retirement accounts, $6,000 as of 2019 tax year is the contribution limits on that account. 401k, which is more of your employer uh, ran retirement accounts, the contribution limits on those are $19,000. The Roth variant of both accounts, you are contributing your post-tax dollars after your after the federal, state, Medicaid, Medicare taxes, all those other taxes that you see on your uh, check stub every month. After those are withdrawn, the money that's deposited into your checking account is the money that can be contributed to a Roth variant of those accounts. The traditional account or traditional retirement accounts is pre-tax dollars. So before all of those taxes come out, your Medicare, your state, federal taxes. Now the big difference there is when it comes to retirement age. Next, I would like to jump into the tax, more in depth into the tax side of the house on your retirement accounts. Roth with the Roth being uh, post-tax dollars, you've already paid it, so you don't have to pay taxes when you start withdrawing from it. And the traditional, you didn't pay taxes, so you're going to have to pay taxes with you when you withdraw from it. Um, a gentleman by the name of Chris Hogan uh, found an article on DaveRamsey.com that he showed the million-dollar example. If you had a million dollars in your Roth account and your friend had a million dollars in their traditional account. You have the same amount of money on paper. You both are millionaires. But when it comes to withdrawing from it, that's where the big difference is going to come. You are going to withdraw from your Roth account a million dollars. Your friend next door that has the traditional account, he's going to withdraw that million dollars and he's going to turn around and he's going to end up paying roughly $220,000 by today's tax standards. Um, you, when it comes down to it, you, I mean, you're going to pay taxes to the government on the money regardless. Where your Roth, you're paying taxes on the contributions. Your traditional, uh, when you're at retirement age, you're going to end up paying taxes on your contributions and the interest that they have invested. So the Roth contribution, your Roth account is going to pay you dividends in the long run with not having to pay taxes and you being able to open your account on Monday and go, well, I still have $956,000 in my account. I think I should take that trip to Italy, you know, this summer and take the grandkids or take the wife or what have you. So the point I'm driving home with this one, with the tax side of it, is that you're going to have to pay taxes regardless. And you might as well pay them today while you have a steady job and you can afford to pay the taxes. Not tomorrow when, you know, you're, you're trying to take that trip with your grandkids and you go, oh, I need $10,000. Well, th you're going to lose another $2,200 of that because you got to pay taxes on that $10,000. Now you got to 
withdraw more money than what's necessary to end up paying the taxes to the government. Lastly, I would like to cover withdrawal benefits and restrictions on these accounts. With a traditional based account, uh, if you are under the age of 59 and a half, you can withdraw $10,000 from your account without the normal 10% early withdrawal penalty to pay for qualified first time home buyer expenses and qualified higher education expenses, hardships as, as disability and certain levels of unreimbursable medical expenses may also be exempt from this penalty. However, you still will pay taxes on withdrawing from it. Now, both accounts allow owners to begin taking penalty-free qualified distributions at 59 and a half. For your Roth IRA, that money that you have contributed, not the interest that has been earned on the account, but the money you have contributed can be withdrawn up to $10,000 penalty free for first time home buyers, providing that there is at least five years have passed since your initial contribution. I got that information uh, from an article by uh, Kelly Spores. <coughs> <clears throat> where she covered a lot of those uh, shortfalls and bonuses, you know, comparing the, the two uh, Roth and traditional accounts side by side on that. Um, and that article came from RothIRA.com. So in conclusion today, I've covered the contribution limits of both the Roth and traditional variants of the retirement accounts. They're equal. The IRA, Roth, and traditional are equal, and the 401k, Roth, and traditional are equal when it comes to contribution limits. Paying taxes today will save you money in retirement age when you're not working and you're depending on that retirement account to fund your living expenses for the day-to-day -day life. I showed you an example that I found on DaveRamsey.com of the million dollars that with the Roth, you're going to have a million dollars. A million dollars is a million dollars. The traditional, well, that million dollars is actually going to be $820,000 because you're going to have to pay $220,000. Today's taxes, I don't Yet again, I will emphasize, I don't know what taxes will be like in 30 to 40 years. So that tax rate could be 30. It could be 40%, depending on where where the world goes. So if we go to a more socialist economy, then we're going to be paying more taxes. So if you prepare today and pay taxes today while you're working, you will not be paying taxes when it comes to the retirement age. <coughs> The other thing I covered was the uh, withdrawal uh, and withdrawal benefits and restrictions. Um, with your traditional, uh, you can withdraw ten thousand dollars penalty free before fifty nine and a half, but you still have to pay taxes on that ten thousand dollars. With the Roth, you can withdraw ten thousand dollars qualified first time home buyer. Um, you also can withdraw any contributions that you have contributed to the account. You cannot withdraw the interest earned on the account, but you can withdraw contributions from the account without paying the penalty. <coughs> and to answer my initial question, it would be more beneficial to pay your taxes today while you are working and you have an income rather than tomorrow when you are retired and trying to sip my ties on a white sandy beach somewhere.